Worrying about how many likes you get on one post will not do anything for you at all. What will do something for you is consistency over a long, long, long time. Be consistent. Don't worry about every single post you make. Hey everybody, what's going on? Coach William Brazione here, and in today's video, guys, we are talking about the topic everybody seems to be obsessed with. Everybody is on their phones more now than ever before, and that's the topic of social media. And you say, this is for the Fitness Online Coaching Academy. Why do I care about you talking to me about social media? Talk to me about the client stuff. This is why. The other day, I had a really good phone call with one of my clients, and she happened to be having some social media problems. And when I say problems, what I mean is, let's at first and foremost, let's go ahead and identify what that problem actually was. So I believe that there are a lot of individuals who are placing their personal value, their personal worth on the amount of likes or the amount of likes they don't get on social media, the amount of engagement, the amount of shares, the amount of saves, the amount of all that stuff, you're actually placing your personal value in this stuff. The stuff that's the artificial life. The stuff that is everybody's on, everybody's using, but you're actually placing your value on how well you're doing on social media. This is why I want to talk about this because I feel like it is a huge waste of your time if you spend excessive amounts of time worrying about how your content is doing on social media. Now, it's one thing if you just make the content, you upload the content, you leave it, you leave it alone. You know, you actually have some type of structure in your day to where you can go back, you can respond to the comments and you're actually engaging with your audience. That's different than posting something and staying on your phone and uploading and rechecking and checking and checking and checking for hours and hours a day. If you think about it, if you're trying to grow a business, is that going to be the best utilization of your time? Likely not. The best utilization of your time would be, in my opinion, to be able to use social media as a platform to reach other individuals. However, first and foremost, I will say I believe that the primary audience for you should be more in person. It should actually be your surrounding people, people that are around you, people who want to work with you, your group, your niche, whatever that may be for you. That's who I think you need to target first. In my opinion, you have to be good with communicating with people in real life. Start with real life relationships. As you start to grow and develop your business, then obviously social media becomes of something of massive importance. Because if we can reach more people, we have more of an ability to grow and scale our businesses. I can completely understand why so many of you place so much value on how your social media does. Many of you who watch this video most likely have started social media before you started your business, right? So in theory, logically, if you basically utilize social media as a way to grow an audience and you become obsessed with how many followers you have, you become obsessed with the growth of your page, but you're not making any money from a business perspective, you could essentially think about the growth of your social media as being like your paycheck because you're investing a shit ton of time into that thing. And what are you getting back? Oh, I'm getting back all, all of these all of these people commenting, all these people liking my pictures, no matter what the pictures are, these people are saving my stuff. I, like, I'm, I'm, this is my drug, this is my addiction, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. But I also understand that there's another demographic of individual who may be here who had a business before social media was a big thing, okay? So somebody like myself, for instance, I had a successful personal training business, and I say successful, what I mean is that I was personally satisfied. I had a lot of clients, they were all happy, achieving amazing results. And then I started the online thing and I didn't get on Instagram for probably like maybe a year and a half, two years after I was actually already working online as a nutrition coach. So I understood that I could build a successful business without the implementation of social. Now did social media help? Oh my God, a thousand percent. Just to give you guys some stats, my first year and a half in business, I think I only worked with maybe, maybe 20 or so nutrition clients. Okay. Now, once I got on social media and I worked with one female client who happened to have, at the time, this was back in like 2013, 
happened to have like 10,000 followers. Back then, that was a big deal. She makes an awesome post about me being her coach. Overnight, I get five, five new clients. I'm like, how in the hell did that happen? But here's the thing. You use social media as a tool. It is not the only thing that you can utilize to gain clients. And do not allow social media to dictate your personal value. I personally know a lot of coaches who don't have astronomical followings. Like there are a lot of people out there that have a million plus followers and they give the most terrible nutrition advice you've ever heard in your life. There's also a lot of very, very educated individuals who are coaches who do a phenomenal job with their clients and nobody's ever even heard of them, but they have successful businesses because they've done things the right way. In my opinion, they've spent their time where it's most productive with their people. So let's go ahead and continue on this path. So what should your personal value or your business value or how you perceive your job to be going, how should that be valued or how should that be judged? In my opinion, you should be valuing your ability to do your job based off of the results, the testimonials, the experience, and the care that you have or you can create with the clients that you already have. As an example, if you're an online nutrition coach and you already have 20 to 30 clients under your belt and everything's good, you're rocking and rolling, but you're spending more time on social media than you are focusing on your 20 to 30 clients that are actually making you the money and paying your bills, that is, that scale is completely tipped. Like that is complete ass backwards in my opinion. Now, why is that? If you think about it, your business and the people who are paying you, the people who have already invested in your service, do you think they care about how many followers you have? Do you think they're sitting there looking at how many likes you get on a post? Nobody cares about that stuff. All they care about is are they getting value from you and do they trust you to guide them, to create the protocol, to guide them, to teach them, to educate them. That's what they care about. And if you take care of your clients, you're gonna be able to create amazing client testimonials over time. These testimonials add up because if you can make, let's just say 10, 20 amazing client testimonials, now you have the ability to showcase the fact that you are a successful nutrition coach within your space. You have the social proof to be able to back up everything that you're putting out and everything that you're talking about. But if you're just talking and you can't show any results because you've spent all of your time focusing on social media, I'm sorry, but that's just the wrong way to go about it. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up with just kind of like an overview of this entire thing. Social media right now is booming more than ever. We saw it coming, everybody knew it was coming. That's why you see a lot of these online trainers and everybody, everybody's on YouTube, they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, because we can target such a large market, right? However, what you have to understand, guys, is that how your content is doing should not be more important than the people you already have that are working with you. Utilize those people to gain the experience. Utilize those people to create the amazing testimonials to give you that real life in person. Like when somebody, when an actual human being can send you a text message or an email or talk to you on the phone, see you in real life and tell you that you really, really changed their life because of your coaching, that's so much valuable than trying to watch how many likes you get on a post. So do yourself a favor, focus on the real life human beings that you have the opportunity to work with right, right now Continue to make your content for Instagram, but don't let it control your life. If you're on Instagram more than, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half a day, think about what you could be doing with all of that extra time. I was talking to somebody the other day and I think they were up around five hours a day on Instagram. What could you do with an extra three hours? More importantly, think about this. What could you do with three hours times five days a week? That's 15 hours. That's 60 hours a month. What could you build? What could you create for your coaching brand in 60 hours? Think about that, guys. Much love. Coach Will, this video is over.